good. Oh my goodness, absolute mayhem in Chico, California. We got the fire department. We got two cop cars behind the fire in the truck. But this does not even come close to the riots that are currently going down in Spain over the austerity measures. 50,000 demonstrators rioted in the streets of Barcelona to fight against the new measure with 29 people being detained during five, in five altercations with police officers. Police officers ended up firing rubber bullets and clubbing protesters in order to die down the protests. So if you think this is crazy, ooh, imagine what's going on in Spain. But what caused these protests? Well, we see that there were two acts of the austerity measure, and we will look at both of them before realizing whether or not Spain implemented the measure too early or whether they should have waited until later. So the first main point is the fact that they are trying to, uh, what effect does the austerity measure have on the, Spani on the Spaniards? Well, it affects 160,000 of their population with the population growing past 47 million. The measure is supposed to bring in 1.1 billion euros over the course of two years, which is the equivalent of the affected Spaniards equaling about 9,400 9, a year converting to US dollars. But this would be this would be a huge effect on the average Spaniard. But with the austerity measure only affecting those with an income of over 700,000 euros, equivalent to 954 thousand dollars, it is really not that much money. It's under one percent of their yearly income. And so, is this the reason why all these protests are happening? Why all this craziness is happening? Leading to a fire to Hama Hall in Chico, California? No. We move on to the next point, that we see this is really the true reason why those 50,000 people were storming outside of Barcelona, leading to clubbing and shooting of rubber bullets, and evidently fires in the 530. We see that they have increased in, included in the austerity measure a job contract that uh, repeals the 2006 legislation stating that, the, that there are no open-ended government contracts, only fixed terms, meaning that if you, have a, if you have a job within the government that lasts over two years, you are a full-fledged employee of the Spanish government, meaning that you have job security and benefits. But with the increase in unemployment within their country, the, the parliament states that this suspending of 2006 law uh, is, is a blessing for the government because it is less money that they have to spend. While with the uncertainty of jobs, the fact that they can have any jobs at all is a plus. Now, for these countless government workers, the fact that they have lost benefits and do not know if they'll have a job in the next coming months is a huge deal. And which is why they stormed Barcelona in flocks of tens of thousands in order to try to get the legislative branch to repeal this, repeal this law. But did they pass it too early? Was, should they have waited until past their next election to see whether or not, oh, they're leaving. I guess the fire's not that big of a deal. But you know what is that big of a deal? Or it's too the late. austerity measures in Spain. This is the big deal, what we're still talking about. And so we see, this guy got excited about it. <laughs> and so we see that, um, so first, with the increase of taxation of their upper class, meaning not that big of a deal, but still having all the conservatives whine about it, and then the effect of the middle and lower classes with the decrease in job security, it is really the, the higher majority of the population that is affected by this. But was it passed too early? The whole European Union has been, yes! The whole European Union has been affected by their deficit and they need to have extreme measures to put into effect in order to get, dig themselves out of this hole. And so we see that with this only two year contract and the money that they made over the, the auction of their bonds uh, earlier this year, that this is a short term state that needs to be brought to their government if they ever want to get themselves out of their deficit. But 
with their next elections being in five more minutes. Yeah, five minutes. No, you went, you're at five. Oh, thanks God. And so, and so we see that with their elections in March of this next year, and the conservatives most likely to take the cake, uh, there, this may not last very long within their uh, within the history of their government. They, while the while the conservative party abstained from voting on Thursday, they still. Um, if elected into the majority of office, can have the option to repeal it and go back to the 2006 measure of the of the fixed job security and release the, the release the taxation put upon the higher um, their put upon their upper class. So we see that they did not pass it too early. We see that if anything, this should have been passed years ago. But much like the craziness that just went down into Hamer Hall and the protests going on in Spain, we see that they, that this was the right time for Spain, but not the right time for the fires into Hamer. Because I should have been giving this speech inside, and these guys were ready to fight a fire. Thank you. Uh, we had to leave up to the third floor. <laughs>